Hello friends, uh, my name is Chandramani and you are watching uh, sharing in NTFS permission in this lesson and we will perform in um, we will discuss like uh, uh, what are the difference between sharing and NTFS permission and we will do some you know uh, theoretical and uh, practice for this and uh, uh, we will get uh, some good knowledge on this also um, because uh, uh, today and uh, nowadays this uh, permissions is uh, playing uh, I mean very vital role uh, uh, in the respective of each and every organization uh, because everyone wants their secure their data so yes of course this is the very important thing we need to learn as a system administrator so uh, before these things let's go to my um, lab here Windows 7 system which is the member of mylab.com uh, I mean it's a member of domain let's log in okay with your credential you have to log in and uh, we will create some folder and we will understand what are the difference between um, sharing and NTFS permission. Uh, so most of the people might be about and most of the people might not be about the deep and dive things. Uh, uh, let's uh, see the network connectivity is proper or not first of all. Yeah, network connectivity is proper. And it's my lab, uh, ADMI, NISTR, ATUR, administrator, right? I given this, that's right. You need to give the proper uh, credential over here to login. Uh, once it login, we will uh, go for this, you know, uh, that file sharing kind of things. Uh, okay, it's loading still. Just give me some time. Uh, if you look at this WDS server, what we will do here, uh, no, uh, we will do here only. So it, it will, uh, you know, easy to understand how these things are happen. Okay. Go to the C drive. And uh, I'll do one uh, folder here. Test share. Okay. This is the what we will do and okay, is it there okay test your name is there right so what we will do here we will remove this uh, yeah um, we can remove this one correct okay now we will create new folder here which is name is test okay right so we will put some fo folders files here like uh, can be put it here all these files folders uh, go to the here test and paste it here okay so go to the test right click properties I will explain you here see these are the two tabs here sharing and security sharing means it's kind of sharing permission we can provide by going to administrative and save the folder here okay this is the share folder and you can provide the permission over here see everyone is there I just remove this kind of things and apply it no not, no one have rights to you know sharing this folder I press the ok this is the kind of sharing permission and the security means it's an NTFS permission okay so what I will do here I will remove all these things here everyone I need to remove from here let's remove all these things oh it is not I don't know why okay but we need to remove first of all all this uh, members of this uh, security uh, You cannot remove authenticity because the object is inheriting permission from its parent to remove the authenticated user. You must prevent the object from the inheriting permissions turn off the option the inheriting permission and they 
removing authenticated user so for that what we will do here uh, go to the advanced option here and uh, uh, change the permission okay and uh, uh, change the permission here to uh, like here edit not required yes okay okay now I can remove it edit yes now we can remove all the things okay here okay so now what is uh, do you want to continue yes I want to continue here uh, now if you like if you see this there is a symbol like security symbol it's a key symbol because we do no one have the rights on this so for that what I will do here just right click here go to the properties step and the properties if you look at here sharing uh, is there but security option is not available here correct so go to the advanced sharing so which folder I have selected Oh, I selected C type yeah? okay you have to select here go to test and properties okay in the test properties there are two options sharing and security I told you that sharing means sharing permission security means it's the NTFS permission if you look at here sharing permission there are only the three uh, kind of permission are there one is full control chains and read instead of these nothing is there so these are the you know it's a limited kind of permissions in share a share means it's nothing what you want to access which uh, I mean what you want to add what you don't want to add that's it but uh, NTFS perm permission means what what you need to access which you need to access what kind of access you require that kind of it's a permission be defined in NTFS permission correct so what I will do I just give the read option here let's let's uh, before doing these things what I will do here uh, it's a test right uh on this on this uh this uh what is this ip cmd ip config okay this is a seven okay uh, double slash one ninety two one sixty eight one dot uh, seven slash test right okay so if you press okay see it, you are you doesn't doesn't have the access first of all here because uh, no one have the rights right i just give the add the someone here like i put the everyone okay just check name here once it got it just read permission here okay press okay and okay and uh, in the security no one is there correct now we just uh, right try to access these things yeah uh just close it and refresh it okay so just now just access test dollar still you do don't have access even you give the uh, share folder access also because I'm giving the read access only right let's see give the full access in the save folder and we will check it right sharing uh, advanced sharing and the permissions and go to the full access apply okay okay if you press the okay now you just access the share drive so even it is not accessible we need require the NTFS permission for that so go to the security uh, in the go to sharing and uh, go to the security edit put uh, everyone okay everyone and uh, give the read rights only read only okay but if you look at here sharing option I have given the full control okay I have to given the full control to everyone okay let's see what kind of permission uh, we are you know uh, getting here if you look at here just access it now I'm accessible this site okay I'm not accessible sorry I'm accessible here okay so okay right click here test folder go to the properties here sharing is full control security is only the read uh, permission okay so what I will do here I will open this tag document here and see uh, the access uh, uh, test is uh, new risk text document was denied uh, it is saying like it's not it's denied right uh, let's install this application also can we do it
uh, okay let's try to do some files folders here new text document see uh, the, you don't have permissions to uh, de uh, you know create or delete something let's try to delete also something Create delete see you don't have are you sure you're permanent delete this folder yes see you you are required the permission for administrator to make the changes because i don't have a permission editor selling but if you look at the sharing permission i given the full control correct see uh, so now you can understand here on the sharing and ntfs which of the permission you given what permission will be apply it will apply only the most restrictive permission if you compare the both of the permission sharing and secure the most restrictive permission is read so i'm given only a list of folder inheritance so i'm sorry let's uh, give the read only okay that's what correct so uh, now if you open this document we can read this document but if you want to edit something like uh, uh, welcome to usa so if i control s so it is saying the access take document was denied because that means you can read only but you cannot do all these things here even you cannot save you can create the file also here if you look at see permission required that means the most restrict permission is required to perform uh, uh, I mean what are the permission you're giving sharing and security the most restrictive permission is applied that is the read so that one thing is you clear that if any you give the sharing in the full okay let me one more doubt I can clear you I just give the full access over here okay and permission okay and we will the you know reverse doing we can do the reverse okay in the share I will just read permission okay close so now just test uh, now just try it what we will whether we will create the new document no still it is same because we given the in the NTFS we given the full permission but in the share we have go given only the read permission that is the read permission it is applied that means the most restrictive permission will be applied now the concept is whenever the people some ask if you give some you know different kind of you know security and permissions the what permission will be uh, apply for this share folder you can say that it's most restrictive permission will be applied okay and let's see this thing uh, we will do some uh, like uh, given the read right let's give the change control here and apply okay and okay and go to the security tab advance and uh, no it's i'm sorry edit go to the everyone instead of giving the full i will give only the right permission okay i will give the only the right permission let's see what is applicable okay see this is nothing okay yeah the permission is not accessible uh, because uh, you know the if you look at here see the you don't have permissions to contact uh, to this you need to uh, contact your system admin. if you go to your what we have done what we we had done like here change permission test and the permission we give the change and read permission right and uh, if you look at the ntfs and security permissions only i give the right permission uh, that means uh, uh, it is not accessible if you like do something here miracle if you click this uh, like uh, you know, read write okay apply it okay it okay now it is game that means what uh, it's the most restrictive permissions is required but if you you know change and write is like you know sharing the change option you had you have been select and here are the only write options that means you are not accessible the same day first of all also that's what so if you read it now I can uh, write something I can create might be uh, yeah i able to create the document also here I can uh, might be i can edit here let's save it yeah i'm able to save the document also okay so um, if i i want to delete something here i might not be access let's see no i don't have the delete option only have a read and write options i am having not the delete option correct so this is the permission you will get over here like and let more see let, and, and and one more thing i can tell you if, if you want to run this application see uh, 
a publisher run yes I run want to run see windows cannot uh, you don't have permissions uh, to run this application contact a network administrator request why it is not you have a read and write permission but even you can't uh, run this up to run this application there is a permission required to uh, read and execute okay execute means the exe file what are the executed file that will work if you apply it okay now we'll check whether we'll run or not see if you run this it is you can install the file okay so this kind of uh, you know there are a lot of uh, permissions are there you can do it if you give the full control here or the modify a full control you will all the changes is happening but see special permission there is nothing is there right so I will tell you what is the exactly the special permission also. So now you have understood right what is the NTFS and the sharing permission right. So let's take you through the uh, 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 special permission. There are the 14 special permissions are there. If you look at here if you go to the permission and the change the permission. Yeah, if you edit this permission if you look at here there are the 14 permissions are there special permissions like full control travel folder sorry. Uh, average folder execute file and list folder read data read attributes you can read the attributes also read extended attribute the different option and you can only you can give the delete folder subfolder file you can give this you know there is a very uh, special permission these permissions you can provide sometimes you know client may be required this kind of permission you can provide uh, provide by selecting here to any user correct so this kind of permission also you can apply and for the troubleshooting pro purpose you can do one thing here there is effective permission if you want to uh, which uh, uh, you know person having the which permission like you can like check uh, like m test there is a user called m okay which permission having yeah m test one i want which permission having if i check yeah he having the full access here Okay, it is saying the full accessor. If you check the everyone, if you select the everyone, which permission is having, is also having the full permission. So, like uh, you can get all these things over here because I have given the full permission. If you look at right, that's what it's telling uh, everyone having the full permission, correct? If you change it here, if you change it here, everyone only having the uh, read permission. I mean, if you remove the full permission, uh, one second. 